Welcome Fly Tires. Today we have another special guest star. He's actually the same special guest star we usually have, my son-in-law Cody. And Cody asked me to teach him how to tie a balanced leech. And so we decided to show Fanaticals Nation how to do the same thing. So what I like to do with my balanced leeches is I use what's called a sequin pin. You can get them in any craft store. And I put a bead on it and whoop, dropped it. Every bead has a small hole and a big hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this uh, point of the sequin pin through the big hole. Just like so. Okay, so that's our first step. And then on this one we're going to be using just some good old olive thread. We're gonna do an olive balanced leech. So I'm gonna coat part of that hook in that. And then what I'm gonna do is cut off the excess. And then we're going to get our little sequin pin. And I like on my balanced leeches I like it to be about right there so it's so this sits a little bit more so the eye of the hook sits a little bit more towards the front of the fly and what I do is I start wrapping that and then I get a little bit of just Loctite um, super glue the brushable and I just brush some on and then I really wrap that sequin pin down good. And once I get to here, I go ahead and I wrap up to my bead, come back through, and I keep it really tight. I love using the three-op monocord when tying balance leeches because it's it's a little thicker thread and it really holds my sequin pin onto the hook. Today we are using a uh, it's just called a, a jig hook. It's the Komodo KJ2322 size 14. And that sequin pin, what is that, three quarters of an inch maybe? Okay, so now I'm going to put my tail on and we're just gonna be using strung marabou today. And I'm going to get just enough to where I'm covering most of the fly so I get my taper right. And then what I like to do is put a little bit of flashaboo in there. Maybe one on each side. I think this is called crystal flash actually. Okay, so that gives our tail a little bit of flash. And then I really like a product called Simisil Dubbing. I know Troussman Enterprises makes it. Um, a lot of different company has Simisil Dubbing. It's just kind of a string, more stringy dubbing that has a little bit of flash in it. Once again, I just go ahead and use waxed thread when I tie if I'm going to be using dubbing and that way I don't have to do a dubbing loop and I realize everyone's got an opinion some people think it's crazy but I've been tying flies a long time caught a lot of fish doing it this way and it's okay if we're a little different not every fly tire has to be the same so you can see I've wrapped and I kind of do a figure eight around the eye of the hook. And I'm going to simply roll my dubbing onto my thread again. And I like to get it right up really tight against that bead. Okay, 
So now I've got a good clean taper. I've got more material on the front of this fly than I do in the back. And that's what you want to do with the leech. And I'm going to simply whip finish this fly. And then I grab my trusty little hardware store mini wire brush and I start combing. Okay, and that my friends is a nice clean balanced olive leech that will actually sit in the water like this. You can see the little eye portion of the hook and I will finish with just a little bit of UV glue right down on my bead. And there you have it, an olive balanced leech. What do you think, Cody? Can you tie that? It's pretty interesting. I'll give it a shot. Cody's only been tying flies since my daughter got him a fly tying kit for Christmas. So what are we, about a month, month in? Yeah. And you're already, you're already gonna take a stab at a balanced leech. That's impressive. All right, thank you for watching the Fanatical's fly tying moment with Aaron at the fly desk and we hope everyone can tie one of these and go catch some fish. Thank you for watching. <laughs>